Hey and welcome to Inacore Gaming. Today's video we're going to delve back into Factorio. If you watched the last video we had just completed um, putting in a new power plant, killing a whole bunch of biters. That's what we did. We killed a whole bunch of biters, cleared out this whole area of biters. We had died and then we upgraded our technology and started using atomic bombs. Got all the biters out of this area. Um, uh, since that video, I cleared out all the trees. I didn't figure you wanted to watch me clear trees. So uh, now we're going to create for ourselves a uranium ore processing plant. And I have two blueprints of the ones that are existing. So we'll stamp this down. About here. Then we'll take part two. We've got to align it just right. It looks perfect. We'll stamp that down as well. Now we just need the bots to lay everything down and we will have a, a working uranium ore processing plant. It takes uranium ore in and produces uranium-235 and uranium-238. Plus there is also, in this area right up here, is a Covarix module. And what this does is it enriches uranium-238 and turns it into uranium-235. The process of refining uranium ore only produces a very small number of uranium-235. This, on the other hand, conserves the uranium. It, it takes a quite a bit of uranium-235 to get it started, but once it's started, it conserves that amount and starts producing uranium-235 out of uranium-238. So, ultimately, this method of refining the ore just simply will not produce enough uranium-235. But with a Covarix module like this, you can begin to produce quite a bit of uranium-235. You may ask what I'm doing. Well, if you right-click and pick up the bots they automatically recharge so if you wait for them to one by one recharge themselves on your and it takes quite a bit of time on your personal robo port but if you just pick them up like this they are rapidly recharged and and then take off again and yes I do pick up the stuff that they're carrying but they just pick it right back up and carry it back off again So there's going to be some things that we'll need to build. We've got a, quite a bit of stuff that we've got to hand build. I don't think we're producing some of this stuff in the main base. So we've over time we have found that it's just easier to hand build some of it. There's just not enough call for large numbers of it. And instead of putting a build in, we've just hand built the stuff.
I might run out of of inventory. Some of the things may be on the engineering train that's right above us or to the east of us and we can run over there and pick up some things off of it. Potentially fill in some gaps. going to put on my night vision goggles. This allows me to see in the dark much better. The biggest problem that we have right now is while we run strictly on solar, uh, the night times are not good because they very quickly drain the accumulator charge and there is no electricity then to run everything that needs electricity. So we want to get our nuclear power plants in place and operating because they are able to provide power even at night. Do I need anything? Looks like I've got plenty of those. Some of those, use some of those. Got plenty of concrete currently. Rubble ports. like that's all. We'll run back over there see if there is any more of this stuff that I picked up that can be put down. Then we're gonna have to make a trip to the base in order to get the resources that we need to create these centrifuges. And while we're there we need to get resources that will allow us to create um, heat exchangers, and steam engines. Is it steam engines? Something. Let's see. While we're here, I guess we can. start concreting this area. Can't have factory areas that 
aren't concreted. We'll just put a connection in. Let's see, that one won't work. Gotta have a six by two. Like this. Hey, what happened there? Horrible. Let's get rid of that. Try that one more time. Actually, I don't think that's going to be right because 
Is that far enough? No. Let's change this. Let's change this, make it just a little bit bigger. So we'll say all it needs is just a little bit of room here. That gives us the ability to put in sort of like a small stacker. Not really very good. Should be a little bit further over, but unfortunately it is what it is. As Factorio is so often. Okay. Wow, it even powered it. Really need that one? I don't think we need this one. How does that thing move at the last second like that on me? I don't know. It's very weird. It's twice today. I don't usually have that much problem.
Okay. That's made us uh, an electrical connection. What are you putting lights? What are you putting rail signals on it? Um, because that's the way I was taught, but my understanding is is if you have a train that breaks down for whatever reason let's say a train breaks down right here well this signal will be red so the next train that comes won't run into it so if you don't periodically put signals down your trains have collisions but if you periodically put signals down all along your track then when the train stops here then the next train won't run into it because this signal will be red and the train would pull up to it and stop. So it's just a way of preventing collisions of trains. Create a train stop. Huh. Apparently that wasn't a train stop. Okay, so the uranium ore will come in here, it'll go into the processing, and it will come out here. taking too long. Let's do this a different way. Uh, get rid of this. Let's look at the map. <clears throat> we'll look at the map. Find one train fuel NOP nuclear ore processing instead of uranium. Train fuel NOP. Okay. So here, 
click here. Now we find train fuel, train fuel, NOPWB, train to that to WC, and it's good to go. And then back to the map. That is called Uranium-235 Depot, Uranium-238 Depot. So, this is down at the bottom. Uranium-235. Uranium-235 Depot, WC, and this is Uranium-238 Depot. Uranium-238 Depot, WC. Okay, so we've got our spots manned. We've got all of this done, pretty much, stamped down, concreted. We just need to bring the resources up to fill in these, and we should be able to move, uh, put a train in. Oh, we've, we've got to get train fuel to here and we've got to get robots in here so we got to pick up robots we got to put a train into there we've got to get got to build a train and put it in place to carry the ore from the mine to the processing plant uh, and then we'll be uh, in business we'll we will have started processing uranium ore so cool Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll continue on in, in this playlist. There will be more Factorio later on. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please consider giving me a like and a comment and subscribing to the channel. And as always, I encourage you to find a place of worship. Attend it regularly with an open heart and an open mind. Because I believe that that will be a rewarding and fulfilling experience for you. It certainly is for me. Again, thanks for tuning in to Inacore Gaming, and we'll see you next time.